get a go for step uh, 776, uh, JLS mainline activation? You got to go on mainline activation. I was so excited with NASA in the 80s because the shuttle was starting to launch. We watched launches in the classroom. It was a new vehicle. It was a new time to watch launches. Those early memories of the shuttle taking people out to do new things, and I was fascinated by it. I taught high school in Vancouver, Washington for five years and really enjoyed working with kids and hopefully inspiring them. I'm Dorothy Metcalf Lindenberger and I'm an astronaut for NASA. People like Dorothy Metcalf Lindenberger in the Astronaut Corps represent the public face of NASA and America's heroes. But the astronauts are just some of the many faces of NASA exploration. My name is Julie Kramer White and I'm the recently appointed Chief Engineer for the Crew Exploration Vehicle Project. My name is Robert L. Kerbeen. I'm a NASA astronaut. William Gerstenmaier and I'm the Associate Administrator for Space Operations. Ronald Lee, I work here at NASA in the Neutral Buoyancy Lab. I'm the Chief of the uh, MBL. Wayne Hale, I'm the Program Manager at the Space Shuttle Program. Jeff Hanley, and I am the Program Manager for the Constellation Program. It takes the entire NASA family to launch humans into space. Off of space Shuttle Discovery, beginning America's new journey to the moon, Mars, and beyond. Launching people into space is extremely difficult. Every time it happens, going all the way back to the Mercury program, it is hard to do. We all know when we sign on that it's not just a high-tech job, but it's a job that if we fail, people get killed. And obviously we have a couple brutal reminders of that. To live through the accident the way that we did, but to come back and fly again is, uh, is just a huge undertaking. And in space flight, you can expect that there's going to be some setbacks, but then how are you ever going to get to the exciting moments? Well, you're going to deface them and then move forward. And I've seen our, our crew do that here. Um, just the whole team of NASA do it. It's pretty awesome. For nearly half a century, NASA has embodied the spirit of exploration. The past 25 years have seen 117 space shuttle missions. Having flown the shuttle four times, there's only one word you can say when you look at a vehicle like that. It's just awesome. Even as we've been doing the shuttle for as many years as we have, it's a technological miracle. But we do all the things that have to come together to get it right, all the people that play into it to make it happen safely. History is going to look back and say the space shuttle was the most amazing machine that we're going to have perhaps for several hundred years. The space shuttle is the only vehicle that can complete the construction of the International Space Station. And there's a lot of reasons for that. You know, there's the, the scientific benefit. We still have two uh, world-class laboratories that have to be delivered. Uh, and they're both international, which is another aspect of this. Our leadership is extremely important. And, and we chose to be a leader in the International Space Station and to bring the, the partner countries together. The European Space Agency and all its partners, uh, Russia, Japan, Canada, the United States, we're building hardware all around the world we're bringing it together on orbit, hooking it up for the first time, and it works. Space Station is a, a tremendous technical challenge. It's also an amazing example of what people can do when they put their collective minds to it. And not just one nation, but the world. When I think back at the beginning of Shuttle, you know, we were in a cold war with Russia. We weren't even on friendly terms, and now we're not only working with Russia, but the Europeans and the Japanese. That's pretty amazing. It flies in the face of logic, and it flies in the face of history, but it flies. And we have crews right now, three different countries living on station. We have uh, multilateral, multinational crews flying on the shuttles to build it. And I think that is laying the groundwork for the follow-on exploration of the universe. Exploration of the universe. NASA's charge in the vision for space exploration. To the moon, Mars, and beyond. At NASA research centers across the nation, a new program, Constellation, is coming to life. New vehicles with a new mission for a new generation of explorers. What I like to tell everybody who's working on shuttle and station today is, you know, this is just the tip of the iceberg. We are just getting started. The first phase of the program is the Orion Crew Exploration Vehicle and the Ares-1 Launch Vehicle. 
We've borrowed the Apollo shape of the capsule because we have information from the Apollo days of, of the way that shape behaves. It's a two-stage rocket. The first stage is made of a space shuttle solid rocket motor, basically put more propellant to, uh, to give it a little more power. On top of that, we've put an upper stage that will take the crew to the edge of orbit. Then we're going to develop a vehicle that's going to take them all the way to the moon. Then we're going to develop another one that's going to land them on the surface and support potential building an outpost on the surface. The moon will transform the way we view energy. Today, all of our energy is focused around fossil fuels, but going to the moon opens up new possibilities. We will eventually have people up there permanently, just like we do in low Earth orbit. And then from there, we will learn to expand human influence to Mars and beyond. Constellation is exciting. I'm really glad that we are able to move forward to a next generation of spacecraft, and I'm so excited to be a part of that. NASA hasn't gone out and, and begun a great wave of hiring for this new program. What we are, are about doing is, uh, is retooling the workforce within the agency. When I first came to NASA, uh, one of the things that struck me the most uh, was not only the expertise of the people, but their passion. Well, I've been fortunate enough to do seven spacewalks on the International Space Station. All seven were assembly-type missions. A lot of people look at it and they think to themselves, gosh, this must be easy. Look, they're clicking these things off. What I've quickly realized is that uh, the people here at NASA are very, very good in making the very, very difficult look very, very easy. The technologies we advance and the things we accomplish almost become so intertwined with people's lives they don't even realize sometimes that it comes out of the space program. How many people can come to work and say, hey, I'm, I'm making a difference to not just the future of our country, but the future of humankind. I'm excited that someday I can fly in space and I hope that when I'm there that I bring excitement to not only students across the country but then their teachers and families. To have a frontier to explore means that we will try new things, we will dare great things and, and we will find uh, things that we never even imagined. The next generation of NASA explorers to the moon, Mars, and beyond.